This is Steve Robbins. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys, quick and dirty tips to work less and do more. We all have things we want in life without knowing exactly how to get them. So a lot of times we don't even get started. People say, make a plan, then take baby steps and you'll get there. Well, that's great, except if we don't actually know how to get where we want to go, well, we don't make a plan and often we don't get started. But scientists have discovered something exciting. It turns out that plans are useful even if they don't tell us exactly what to do. Plans aren't just a roadmap from point A to point B. It turns out that they do way more. Plans give us confidence, motivation, and results, even if we get their steps completely wrong, which makes plans useful in far more places than you'd think. So to be confident, motivated, and resultified, use plans, even imperfect ones, everywhere. I recently had the pleasure of interviewing Eric Barker. He's the author of the Barking Up the Wrong Tree blog, and he's also the only person whose newsletter and blog I read regularly. He turns research-based results about psychology into actions that we can all take. And he taught me something important about plans. Plans are how you get unstuck. And it's not because you have to have the right plan. Simply having a plan, whether it's accurate or not, is enough to make us feel confident and get us moving. Our brains are scared of the unknown. So as with anything that we fear, our brain does that whole fight, flight, or freeze thing. Making a plan gives our brain something to know, so the brain feels safe just by having a plan, and it's better able, since it feels safe, to help us actually get what we want. It calms down our brain so that we can think clearly and actually figure out how to reach our goal for real. So today's tip is very simple. It's use plans to get yourself moving, even if you don't know all the steps. Let's look at a few places where we don't usually think of plans as a tool, but where they'll get you moving anyway, thanks to the confidence effects. Use plans for building a social life. If you're a workaholic like me, you may have trouble finding the time to catch up with friends and to cultivate new social connections. You may become a hermit. You may let your hair grow down to your knees and start talking to small animals and believing that they are talking back. Then, of course, we start thinking things like, I can't call Ashley because it's been so long and I won't know what to say about why I haven't called and it will be embarrassing and I'm a horrible person and I don't know how to get started and, oh, hi, bunny. Our brain goes down these hair-brained paths. See what I did there? Hair-brained bunny? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm brilliant. Because it doesn't know what else to do. So tell it what to do. Make a plan. A plan will help us get unstuck from our introverted hermetic ways, and it doesn't need to be a detailed plan. So here's a sample plan. Step one, call Ashley. Step two, say, I'm so sorry for abandoning you at the altar. Let's be friends again and go bowling Thursday. Once you get on the phone, you may or may not stick to the plan, but just having the plan will get you moving. My personal plan to build a social life is to buy a television set and start inviting people over for movie nights. It's been the plan for a couple of years. Have I followed it? No. But having the plan has chilled me out enough that I've actually been making friends in other places instead. Just having a plan gets me moving. Use a plan to find romance. They say that breaking up is hard to do, and you know why? Because first you have to find a schmoopy to break up with. That is intimidating. Yes, I know, there's an app for that, but the instructions are unclear. My friend, who shall remain nameless for obvious reasons, was so excited to download the app that they got confused and spent an hour swiping the wrong way for every person in a 50-mile radius of my house. Oh, I mean, of their house. So now they have no idea how to find love, and they're resigned to living a life of lonely video games. No, stop. Romance is a numbers game. It's like Kino. If you're scared to play the numbers, it's time to get unstuck. You've got several hundred frogs to kiss to find your schmoopy. So you're afraid of catching lip warts from a hundred frogs? Get over it. That's why we have penicillin. Create a plan. Step one, get vaccinated against lip warts. Step two, start kissing. Step three, be thankful that all you have to do is kiss the frogs because in the original fairy tale, let's just say the warts were harder to get rid of. There's no surefire plan for romance, but any plan is better than nothing. Once you have a plan, focus on that and your brain will calm down and start moving. You can even make a plan for the different steps. Make a plan for how to meet new people. Make a plan for how to approach someone once you meet them. And make a plan for how to talk to the people you approach. I recommend saying, hi, we haven't met yet. My name is insert your name here. I mean, actually insert your name there. Just having these plans makes you more confident about finding someone in general, and confidence is attractive, so you get a nice bonus. Crucially, 
When your plan doesn't go according to your expectations, and I promise you it won't always be smooth, don't give up. Tweak your plan if you want to and keep putting yourself out there. You can even scrap the plan entirely and choose a new one. They're free. But the point is, simply having a plan will give you direction and will help your brain start moving in that direction. Use plans for advancing your career. Some people are super organized about their careers. But for many of us, we just have this vague idea that we'll be promoted and move forward as time goes on, right? Then the intern we hired gets promoted over our heads and requires us to wear a tutu to work every day. If we were a ballerina, this would be fine. But as it is, the tutu clashes with our fashionable paisley ensemble. All bow down to the amazing power of rayon. Just having a plan, any plan, will help you get moving in your career. So here's a sample plan. Step one, listen to Get It Done Guy episode 462, which is take charge of your career and grow a pair so that you decide what career advancement even means for you. Step two, search out specific job opportunities by reading trade magazines within your industry, checking the job board at your current company, and holding a seance to seek the advice of your dead ancestors, who really can't be expected to know anything about the early 21st century job market, but when she was alive, Aunt Sadie had an opinion about everything, so you know that she'll at least talk to you. And then step three, network your way into those companies to get interviews. Is this a realistic plan? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's super high level, but that's still enough to engage your brain. Simply focus on whichever step is foremost, and you'll find yourself out there beginning to make progress. Plans are more than a roadmap to accomplish something. You can use them to build your confidence and to get unstuck when you don't know what to do. Use them anywhere you're stuck, even places where you normally don't think of planning. Building a social life, finding a schmoopy, and jumpstarting your career are just a few of the places where a plan may be more valuable for its confidence and motivation than for the actual steps that it says to take. So whenever you're stuck, right now, make a plan, any plan, to get moving. Using plans as a confidence-building tool for overcoming procrastination is just one of the interesting topics that Eric shared in our full interview. He discusses also why being a valedictorian doesn't necessarily lead to success and all kinds of things. In fact, I'm sure you can learn more about my own pathologies from this interview and how Eric has answers for all of them. If you want to listen to the full interview with Eric, you can hear it at getitdoneguy.com forward slash barking. Because his blog is barking up the wrong tree, that's getitdoneguy.com forward slash barking. I'm Steve Robbins. Follow Get It Done Guy on Twitter and Facebook. I run programs to help people have extraordinary lives and build extraordinary companies. If you want to know more, visit steverrobbins.com or join my personal mailing list by texting Get It Done to 33444. You'll also get a free copy of my secret book chapter on how to build relationships that help you succeed. Work less, do more, and have a great life.